everybody. So welcome to lesson 12, analysis of business transactions. Okay, so analysis of business transaction is actually the first step of the accounting cycle in which we analyze all of the source documents of the business transactions that the entity has entered into in a specific accounting period. Okay, so business transactions are transactions that has an effect in the resources, obligations, and capital of the company. Business transactions can either be external or internal transactions. Uh, pag sinabi natin internal business transactions, ang effect lang niya is within the firm only. So let's say for example, when a company has office supplies, those office supplies are being consumed unti-unti by the company. So there are no outsiders that are involved in that case. However, external transactions are those which involve outsiders. And the best example of an external transaction is when the company is selling their goods or services to their customers. And the customers are the outsiders in that specific area or in that specific transaction. Okay, so for today, we will be using handout 012. The link for handout 012 is available below in the description box. So I suggest that um, you print, you download and print lesson, uh, sorry, handout 012 for our usage for today. Okay, so we will be starting now the accounting process. And uh, uh, if you have already downloaded handout 012, so that is actually a sole proprietorship type of business. And it is a service activity. So... As I promised you, uh, we will be dealing first with sole proprietorship and then service para mas madali. And then, we will be just using one whole example to represent the whole accounting process. So that you can see the accounting process step by step by step. Mula umpisa hanggang dulo. Again, we will be starting the accounting cycle today. And the first uh, step of the accounting cycle is the analysis of source documents or the analysis of business transactions. Okay, so I hope you have already downloaded handout 12 and uh, we will be using this for today. Okay, Ms. Yoon Seri, a Korean living in the Philippines, established a travel and tourist agency business in the Philippines, which she called Landing on You Travel Services Company, a company that promises safe travel with no crash landing. <laughs> The company started pre-operational activities on April 1, 2020 and rendered their first travel services on April 9, 2020. The business offers travel and tour services to local Philippine destinations such as Batanes, Sagada, Cebu, Camarines Sur, and Palawan international Asian destinations such as South Korea, Japan, Thailand, Singapore, and Hong Kong, and other travel services such as visa assistance, and flight booking assistance. Okay, so again, our business is sole proprietorship type of business. Only one person owns the business, and our sole proprietor is Ms. Yoon Seri. Okay, and then uh, it is also a service activity, particularly or specifically the service that the company renders is travel and tour services. Okay, so if you go along with the handout, we in page two we have the chart of accounts. I have already uh, taught you how to do chart of accounts in the previous lesson okay and then going further you have there your business transactions for the month of April because the company was established in April 2020 and we will be doing the transactions of the company for April 2020 one month lang okay and uh, so some data for adjustments and then that's it okay so for this specific lesson we will be using page 6 again we will be using page 6. So, ano po ba yung nasa page 6? So, if you are in your handouts, please go to page 6. Ano po ba yung nasa page 6 at ano yung nasa likod ko? This is what we call a financial transaction worksheet or a tabular analysis. So, uh, before we go to the uh, transactions, allow me to explain first anong gagawin natin dito. Okay? So, this financial transaction worksheet is we will be analyzing the transactions based on assets, liabilities, and capital. So we will be using the accounting equation in analyzing the business transactions that we have. Okay, so this is the asset portion, and then this is the liabilities and capital portion. 
Now, I have used the uh, full words in your handouts and then I have used some abbreviations here in acronyms, okay? So, for your assets, we have cash, accounts receivable, office supplies, prepaid rent, automobile, equipment, furnitures, and fixtures, okay? Then, for your liabilities, we have accounts payable, notes payable, unearned local travel fees, and unearned international travel. And then your capital account. CN means capital notation. What kind of capital transaction has happened? So that uh, we will you will be using the column CN or the capital notation. Okay. So I hope that you are in page six, and I hope you printed it, and then sabay tayo mag-analyze ng transactions. Okay. So if you're ready, go to page six. Get also your calculators because we will be doing some solving here. Okay. Let's start. Okay, so we're ready to start. So for the analysis of business transactions, we will be using the accounting equation. In each of the transaction, the accounting equation should always be equal on the asset side and the liabilities and capital side. Okay, so let's have, uh, you, you look at your handouts. Huh? Okay, so April 1. Okay. So that is transaction number one. Miss Yun Seri invested 6 million pesos to open landing on new travel company or travel services company. Five employees were initially hired for the travel services team with two drivers. Okay, so our transaction here is the owner has invested 6 million in the business. Basically, since the owner has invested cash in the business, what account is affected? Siyempre, cash. Okay? Magkano yung in-invest? 6 million. So, talagay natin yung 6 million dito sa cash. Okay? That's just the first side, the left side. E paano yung doon sa kabila? Remember that cash investment affects capital. That is your capital investment. So what will happen is here, ito yung, ito yung boundary natin eh. Ito yung equals liabilities and capital. Okay? So it is increase in cash and then it is also an increase in capital. Okay? So you put here 6 million. Okay. So what will be your capital notation? Your capital notation is investment. So as you can see, on the asset side, we have 6 million. Liabilities and capital side, you have 6 million. The accounting equation is equal for the first transaction. Okay, let's continue. We have transaction number 2 for April 2. Kaso dalawa yung nangyari sa transaction number 2. So isa-isahin natin. Okay. Paid pre-operating expenses for permit and licenses to start operations, 250,000 cash payment. Nagbayad daw ng permits and licenses to start operations. Ano yun? Mga mayor's permits, sanitary permit, tsaka any, um, any permits that is needed to open the business. Okay? Let's say, for example, it costed them 250,000 and cash payment ang nangyari. So, yung cash natin mababawasan. In accounting, when we represent something that is negative, something that should be deducted, we should use the parenthesis symbol. Okay? So, ano yung binayaran? Pre-operating expenses of 250000 So, nagbayad tayo ng ganun. Ano mangyayari sa cash natin? Mababawasan ng 250000 Okay? So, you put here negative 250000 And then, Sa kabila, capital account is affected because we have an expense. Gumastos ka na eh. Okay? So, what will happen is negative 250,000. What is your capital notation here? Organization expense. Okay? Kasi gumastos ka na for that. And then another for transaction number 2 is bank borrowing was approved with a note of promise to pay 100,000 Payable in one year with 12% interest upon repayment of the principal amount. Nangutang ng pera sa banko and the company has signed a note of promise to pay. Pag nangutang ng pera ng, ay, pag nangutang ng pera ang company, syempre, at nag-grant yun, ano magkakaroon sila? Syempre cash, di ba? 
So the cash account will increase by how much? Yung inutang nilang 100,000. So it's here. Sa kabila, anong mangyayari? Remember that they signed a note of promise to pay. Nangutang sila ng 100,000. Eh, utang yun. So magkakautang ka, di ba? So you go to the liability side. What kind of liability is that? Notes payable. Positive or negative? Ilalagay natin dito, positive. Kasi, nagkaroon ka ng utang. Okay? So, yung 100,000 mo dito, anong equal dito sa kabila? Ito siya. Okay? So, nagkaroon ka ng utang, note payable na 100,000. Parang ganito siya. Nagkaroon ka ng pera, pero nagkaroon ka ng utang. Okay? So, that's how the accounting equation works for that specific transaction. Okay? Next is transaction number 3, which happened on April 4. Purchase 2 units of a shuttle 15-seater van amounting to 1,600,000 per vehicle on account. Okay. So, kaya nila gagamitin yung van? Remember, the company is rendering travel services. So, pwede nilang gamitin to in bringing their clients to the local destination. Siyempre, you cannot use the van in, ano, diba? in international <laughs> destinations. Okay. So, ano daw yung binili nila? 15-seater van. 1,600,000 isa. Ilan na ang binili? Dapat, check mo yon kung ilan. Ilan na binili? Dalawa. So, ang gagawin natin, 1,600,000 times 2. So, magkano yon Pwede mo naman i-multiply sa mind lang, pero as accountant, dapat ay sigurista ka. Kahit 1 plus 1, dapat kinakalculator. So, 1,600,000 multiplied by 2, you will get 3,200,000. So, yung dalawang units ng van na, bilin, na binili nila is 1,600,000 times 2, 3,200,000. Anong account yun dito? It is a automobile. Magkano ang automobile na nagkaroon yung business? Kasi bumili sila, di ba? So, 1,600,000 times 2, 3,200,000. Okay? So, lalagay natin dito sa automobile, 3,200,000. 3,200,000. Kaso nakalagay, on account. Binayaran na. Pag sinabing on account, hindi pa bayad. Pag hindi pa nabayaran, that is, utang. And when that is utang, it will go to your liabilities. What kind of utang? Accounts. Payable. Positive, negative. It should be positive. Bakit? Nagkaroon ka ng utang. Okay? So, 3,200,000. Asset portion, may asset kang 3,200,000, eh di pa ba yan? Liability portion, 3,200,000. Okay? I, I hope you're getting how the accounting uh, equation works in our uh, analysis. Okay? Let's continue with transaction number 4, which happened on April 6. Okay, so purchased 10 computer equipment sets for operational purposes, 30,000 pesos per unit cash payment made. Okay, so kaya nila gagamitin yung computers? Siyempre, sila ay tatanggap ng flight bookings, ng visa assistance, tapos siyempre, yung mga records nila, tsaka pagtanggap ng clients, kailangan ng computer sets noon. So, bibili sila ng computer equipment. Magkano isa? 30,000. Ilan ang binili? 10. 30,000 times 10? 300,000. O, doon muna tayo sa asset side. Okay? Alin kaya yun dito? Computer is computer equipment. 30,000 isa. Eh, huwag mong kakalimutan na nakalagay 10. Okay? So, 30,000 times 10, 300,000. Okay? So, for uh, April 6, we will put equipment na 300,000. Bayad na. Nakalagay is cash payment made. So, your cash will, uh, will be deducted by the amount of what you have purchased. You purchased equipment of 300,000 and, siyempre, mabawasan yung cash mo ng 300,000. Okay? So, negative 300,000. 
May effect pa sa kabila? Wala. Bayad mo na Okay? So, look here. Asset, equipment, positive 300,000. Tapos, cash, negative 300,000. Magne-negative kasi pinambayad mo to So, magne-negative talaga to So, your assets, ano effect? Zero. Dito. May nangyari? Zero. Dito, zero din. Wala. Okay? So, the accounting equation is equal. Zero man lang. Bakit zero? Kasi dalawang asset account yung apektado. Nagkaroon ka ng equipment, pero nawalan ka ng cash. Yung cash mo kasi naging equipment. Okay? Next is transaction number 5. Okay? Transaction number 5 happened on April 7th. Purchased office supplies amounting to 50,000 and paid rent in advance covering 6 months equivalent rent 150,000. Okay, so walang sinabi. So when the problem is silent, hindi siya on account. So ibig sabihin, binayaran in cash yun. Dalawa yung nangyari. Una, purchase office supplies amounting to 50,000. But hindi lang yan. Nagkaroon tayo ng office supplies. Di yun na yun. So punta ka ng office supplies. Okay? Magkano yung office supplies na binili on April 7? Lalagay mo dito kung magkano. 50,000 yung biniling office supplies. And then, ang nangyari, paid rent in advance covering 6 months equivalent rent 150,000. Remember yung diniscuss ko sa inyo dati na when there is advance payment of expenses, pambalang yon sa mga susunod na buwan, sa mga susunod na period. Okay? And... Unless it's uh, it's not yet used, or unless magamit mo na yun, it's still your asset kasi nga pambala mo yun sa mga susunod. Okay? So your 150,000 represents 6 months. So yun na yun. Okay? So that is a prepaid rent. 150,000. E binayaran mo to pareho. So 50,000 plus 150,000 will give you a total cash outlay of, or total cash payment of 150 plus 50,000. 200,000. Positive, negative, syempre negative. Bakit? Yung cash mo 200,000 ay pinambili mo ng office supplies at pinambayad mo ng advance payment ng renta. The accounting equation is still equal. Bakit? Assets, negative 200, tsaka positive 200. Kung si zero out siya. Okay? Next is we go to transaction number 6 which is which happened on April 8. Okay, purchased furniture and fixtures such as tables, chairs, cabinets, and sofa set for guests and clients, package of $600,000, $200,000 paid in cash, and the balance on account. Sige, mamaya natin pag-usapan yun. Magkano yung furniture and fixture, magkano yung asset na nabili? $600,000. So we go to the asset portion and furniture and fixture. Magkano yung binili ng furniture and fixture? $600,000. So in this date, Lalagyan natin yung furniture and fixtures ng magkano? 600,000. So, we put here, 600,000. Ang unang nangyari, 200,000 was paid in cash. O, di kung magkano yung binayad, binayad ng cash, di ibawas mo sa cash, ganun lang. Okay? So, negative 200,000. And then, ang sabi ay, the balance is on account. 600,000 yung furniture. 200,000 pa lang bayad mo. So, hindi pa bayad magkano? 400,000. Okay? So, yung hindi mo pa bayad ng 400,000, syempre utang pa yun. Okay? So, saan din siya pupunta? Dito ulit sa accounts payable. Positive, negative. Syempre, lalagay natin positive. Kasi, nagkaroon ka ng utang. Okay? So, positive 400,000. May utang ka pa kasi 400,000. Okay? Tignan nyo mabuti. Asset portion. 600,000 na furniture, pero binayaran mo 200,000. 600 minus 200, 400,000. Pero dito, liabilities and capital side, positive 400,000. So dito, 400,000. Dito, 400,000. Well, equal pa din. Hindi ba? Okay? Again, remember, in each transaction, the accounting equation should always be equal. Okay? Then, let's go to transaction number... Seven, okay, April nine. Okay, so the company has started operations. May unang na silang dinala sa local destination. Started operations through rendering travel services to customers with the following details. Tala na sa batanes, three days, two nights, ten persons, 
price per person is 7,316 cash payment ang nangyari. Okay. Magkano daw per person? 7,316. How many persons? 10. So, the total revenue that will be earned by the company here is 73,160. Kung hindi kayo sure, hindi i-calculator mo. Okay? So, we have 7,316 times 10, 73,160. Dinala nila sa Batanes, yun yung service nila eh. Cash payment. Nagbayad agad sa nagagawin natin dito. Mag-increase ang cash account by kung magkano yung binayad sa kanila na customer. Siyempre, kikita sila dyan eh. Okay? 73,160. So, your cash here would get 73,160. And your capital account will also be affected positively because revenue increases your capital. Okay? So, you put here 73,160. This is local travel fees earned. Okay? Uh, the revenue account that we will be using for this specific example, tapos local destination na yung pinuntahan, local travel fees earned. Okay? So that is the first seven transactions. Pahinga muna tayo for transactions 8 to 15. Hello, ayan, sana nakapag-peanut butter na kayo. <laughs> okay, let's continue with transaction number 8. Transaction number 8 happened on April 11. Paid the amount of one of the two shuttle vans purchased on April 4. Ano daw? Okay, so na April 4, balikan natin. Okay, so the date, April 4. Ano nga bang nangyari na April 4? Bumili ka ng dalawang van. Ang isang van, 1,600,000 times 2, gives you 3,200,000. However, both of them is not yet bayad. And then, what happened in 11 is, the company already paid the amount for one of the two shuttle vans. Babayaran na nila yung isa. So, ang gagawin natin, syempre, yung cash mo, bawasan na naman. Kasi magbabayad ka ng utang eh. Magkano isa? 3 million, ay sorry, magkano isa? 1 million, 600,000. Magbayaran natin yung isa. Ay, di ba mababawasan yung cash mo ng 1 million, 600,000? Saan natin pabawas sa kabila? Dito. Pag dito mo binawas, mawawalan ka ng isang automobile. Mali. Okay? Dapat saan? Dito sa accounts payable. Bakit may babawas? Lalagay ko dito, ah. negative 1,600,000. Pati ito ko binawas. Ito yung utang mo eh. This account represents your utang. Nabayaran mo ni isang 1,600,000, so ibabawasan mo din yung utang mo ng 1,600,000 kasi nga nagbayad ka na. Okay? I hope you understand that. Okay, let's continue with transaction number 9. Okay, transaction number... 9 happened on April 15. Paid salaries of employees total of 95,000 in cash. O cash payment na naman. So ano mangyayari sa cash? Babawasan mo ng 95,000 kasi nagbayad ka, nagbayad ka ng pasahod sa empleyado. So negative 95,000. Okay? Negative 95,000 on your cash account. And then, Revenue and expenses affects your capital, but expense is gasto, so it will affect your capital negatively. Okay? So you put here as well, negative 95,000. What kind of expense is that? Salaries expense. Okay. We continue. With 18. Okay, transaction number 10 happened on April 18. Okay. Render travel services to customers with the following details. Noong April 18 naman ay nagdala na sila ng uh, customers or clients abroad. Okay, punta na sila ng South Korea. Wonderful Seoul, 5 days, 4 nights plus Gyeonggi Do day tour. 
5 persons, 5, 38,888 payable in one month on account. Hindi pa nagbayad yung customers. Okay. Dito muna tayo sa kabila kasi alam na natin revenue yan eh. O ilan nyo. Okay? So, multiply natin. 38,888 times 5 gives us 194,440. Please try it also on your calculator so that we are correct. As if ma kore ko dito na. <laughs> 194,440. Okay? So, sabi natin, under revenue recognition principle and the accrual basis of accounting, kahit hindi mo pa nare-receive yung bayad sa iyo ng customer, basta nagawa mo na yung uh, revenue event, re-record mo na yung kinita mo. Kahit hindi mo pa na re-receive in cash. Okay? 194,440. Oh, dito muna tayo sa revenue side. Okay? So, nalagay ko dito ay kumita na si business ng 194,440. Okay? That is an international travel fees earned. Nagbayad na si customer? Hindi pa, di ba? Hindi pa nagbayad si customer. Pero, sabi nga natin, revenue recognition principle, kailangan mo na i-record kasi nagawa mo na yung service eh. Since hindi pa nagbabayad si customer, hindi siya cash. Ano siya? Yun yung accounts receivable. You are expecting to receive something from your customers. Record it in accounts receivable. Because, Accounts receivable is the account which will represent the amount that, that you expect to receive from your customers. I have already given you this service. Give me your payment. You're not yet paying me. Accounts receivable. Okay? So, you put here 194 or 40. Okay? We go to transaction number 11. Transaction number 11 happened on April 19. Paid 7,000 for minor repairs of automobile. O, oh, di. Tapos nakalagay cash payment. O, oh, nagbayad daw ng 7,000. Alam mo na gagawin dyan. Nagbayad eh. Negative, 7,000. That is an expense, so your capital will be affected negatively. Negative, 7,000. Okay. Anong tawag dyan? Repairs and maintenance expense. Kasi, pinagawa mo yung automobile mo konti. Yung van, baka kailangan ng konting repair. Okay. Diba? Easy lang accounting. Pwede na maging CPA. <laughs> okay. Next is transaction number 12, April 23. Received advance payment. Mm, highlight that. Okay, highlight that. Advance payment for the following travels. Remember, this is advance payment not by the company, ha? This is an advance payment by the client. Okay? Company ngayon ang nakareceive ng advance payment. Dalawa. Splendid Cebu, 4 days, 3 nights. For 8 persons, 6,454. Tapos, Japan, Japan, sagot sa kasiyahan. 63,800 per person sampung tao. Advance payment to. Nangyari na? Hindi pa. Bakit? Tingnan mo yung travel date. What we are accounting here are transactions for April. What we receive is an advance payment for a service that will be made in the next period. Bakit next period? Tingnan nyo mabuti. Kailan mangyayari yung Splendid Cebu? May pa. Kailan mangyayari yung Japan Japan? April 25 pa. Nasa April 25 na tayo? Wala pa. Okay? So this is certainly an advance payment by the customer. And then, sabi natin, pag may advance payment ang customer, parang ang nangyari. Nauna na magbayad yung customer mo sa iyo, hindi mo pa nagagawa yung servisyo mo para sa kanila. Ang utang mo sa kanila, yung mismong service mo. Yun, doon natin gagamitin yung ating mga unearned travel fees. 
Ito yung local, ito yung international. This represents yung utang ng service na hindi mo pa nare-render sa kanila. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin yung Cebu. Makano kaya? Okay. Ang isang tao for the Splendid Cebu is 6,454. Okay? And then, 8 persons, sabi sa handout, 8 persons daw. So, your local travel fees na unearned is 51,632. So, lalagay natin dito. Okay, this one. 51,632. Okay? Tapos, yung Japan-Japan naman natin is 63,800. Tapos, 10 persons. So, 638,000. Unearned international travel fee, 638,000. Okay. Kaso, na-receive mo yan in advance as cash. So, your cash account will increase. So, positive yan. Pagadin mo yung dalawa. Kasi yan yung dalawang na-receive mo during that day. Okay? So, 51,632 plus 638,000. 51,632 Plus 638,000 gives you 689,632. This is the total cash you receive from your clients, advance payment. Dahil advance payment, hindi pa nangyayari yung service. Ito yung local, ito yung international. Okay? Pag tagal-tagal, dapat maging revenue mo po. Pag na-render mo na yung service sa kanila. Okay? Uh, i-discuss natin yan sa adjusting entries. Okay. Ang wala kita tayong tapos. Okay. Transaction number 13. Receive payment from three customers of the wonderful soul. Five days, four nights, plus Gyeonggi-do day tour, who went to South Korea on April 18. Oh, Dilalagay ko dito yung day 25. Okay, balikan natin yung nangyari noong time na yon, April 18. Okay. Noong April 18, may dinala ka sa Korea na limang tao, 194,440. Kaso anong istorya? Hindi pa nagbabayad. Okay, hindi pa nagbabayad sa'yo. Then, ang nangyari, noong 25 is, nagbayad na sa'yo yung tatlo. Okay, kung babalikan mo yung transaction, magkano isang tao? 38,888. Ang nagbayad sa'yo yung tatlo. Okay? So, na-receive mo na yung bayad ng tatlo. Ang mangyayari sa'yo, 38,888 times uh, 3 persons, 116,664. Na-receive mo na yung payment. Pag na-receive ka na ng payment, edi syempre cash na naman yung na-receive mo, di ba? So, positive. 116,664. Ngayon, Ano yung kabila? Katabi lang din. Tinan nyo mabuti. 194,440 yung ina-expect mong ma-receive. Na-receive mo na yung 116,664. Yung na-receive mo, tanggalin mo na dito. Parang ano mo kasi ito, listahan ng utang. Eh, nagbayad na ito. Tanggalin mo na dito. 116,664. Parang mamaya, pag pinag-minus mo to ang lalabas dyan, yung ina-expect mo na lang na ma-receive. Para kasi itong listahan ng utang. Okay? And na-receive mo na to bawas mo na dito. Okay? So, it will be an increase in cash and then decrease in your account receivable. Okay? Next is transaction number 14 which happened on April 29. Okay. The owner, Ms. Yun Seri, had an emergency and has withdrawn 30,000 cash for personal use. Kumuha daw yung owner ng 30,000 pesos na cash for personal use. So, your cash will decrease by 30,000. Okay? And then, ang tawag po kasi dito sa mga ganitong transaction ay withdrawals or drawing. And that affects your capital account as well. Remember, in-invest mo tong perang yun eh. Ito yan no? e eh, binawasan mo as owner. So, negative lang din ang effect. Parang kabalik na. Okay? So, lalagay ko dito ay 30,000. Okay? ano uri ng transaction yon Drawing. Hindi yan yung mga outing, ha? Na binubuon yung magkakaibiga. Okay. Next is uh, 30. 
Okay, April 30, paid the following. Salaries of 95,000, utilities of 12,000, gas and oil of 10,000. All of those are expenses. Nagbayad ka uli ng pasahod. Nagbayad ka ng utilities. Ano yung utilities? Electricity and water, including your internet if you want. And then, gas and oil. Siyempre, kailangan ng gas and oil nung mga vehicle. Okay? pag a mo tatlo para matapos tayo sa video ito. 95,000 plus 12,000 plus 10,000 will give you 117,000. Again, 95 plus 12 plus 10, 117,000. Lahat yung binayaran mo, hindi yan ang nangyayari. Negative sa cash. Ito po siya, negative 117,000. And then your capital will also be affected because this is an expense. And then in the capital notation, you write the kind of expenses. Salaries, utilities, gas, and oil. And we're done. <laughs> We're done in uh, tabulating everything. Pahinga muna ulit tayo kasi magto-totals na tayo. Okay, so we will now be doing the totals. Anong gagawin natin? Pa? Baba. Okay, we will get the totals per account title para ma-check natin kung yung assets mo and yung liabilities and capital mo equal. Okay? Dahil pa baba, ganito lang gagawin natin. Pag positive, di add mo. Pag negative, di minus mo. Meron pa yun. Okay? Accounting is just MDAS, actually. Okay. Ako na ang bahala sa office supplies. <laughs> okay. Then, lahat na gawin natin. Okay? Let's start with cash. 6 million minus 250,000 plus 100,000 minus 300,000 minus 200,000 minus 200,000 plus 73,160 minus 1,600,000 minus 95,000 minus 7,000 plus 689,632 plus 116664 minus 30,000 Minus 117,000. So, we get 4,184,56. Sana ginagawa nyo din, di ba? 4,180,456. Let's check natin kasi marami yung cash. 6 million minus 250,000 plus 100,000 Minus 300,000, minus 200,000, minus 200,000, plus 73,160, minus 1,600,000, minus 95,000, minus 7,000, plus 689,632, plus 116,664, minus 30,000, minus 117,000, 4,180,000 per hundred. Next, accounts receivable. 194,440 minus 116,664. We get 77,776. Interpret natin to yung 77,776. Anong storya nito? Lima ang pumunta ng Korea, tatlo pa lang ang nagbayad. Dapat ito yung dalawa. Ha? So, magkano isa yung Korea natin? 38,888 times 2. Yung di pa nagbabayad. Dito yun, 77,776. Okay? Next is office supplies. O, yun lang naman nangyari. 50,000. O, yun lang din nangyari sa prepaid rent. 150,000. Okay? Automobile, yun lang din po ang nangyari. Meron kang automobile na 3,200,000. Then, equipment po na 300,000. Okay? Furniture and fixture na 600,000. Okay? Punta sa utang. 
Meron kang 3 million 200,000 na utang galing sa automobile pero binayaran mo yung isa. Pero meron ka pang 400,000 na utang dun sa furniture na balance mo. Okay? Add, add, minus. Ganun lang. 3 million 200,000 plus 400,000 minus 1 million 600,000 will give you 2 million. Okay? So, total accounts payable is 2 million. Okay? Next, note payable natin is just the same, 100,000. Okay? And then, unearned local travel fee. So, yun na yun ang yari, 51,632. Okay? And then, unearned international travel fees, we have 638,000. Okay? Then, let's deal with your capital account. So, isa-isahin natin. 6 million minus 250,000 plus 73,160 minus 95,000 plus 194,440 minus 7,000 minus 30,000 minus 117,000. Okay? So, this is 5,768,600. Okay? Okay, so we're done with all of the account titles and getting the total of all of them. So now let's check if the accounting equation is correct. But I'll, uh, I'll give you this solution. So screenshot nyo muna yung video. That is the full solution for today's problem. Okay, I hope you're done <laughs> with your screenshot. Okay, so what will we do now is let's compute for the total amount of assets. And then, total amount of liabilities and capital. We will see if the accounting equation is correct. Okay? So, let's deal with assets first. 4,180,456 plus 77,776 plus 50,000 plus 150,000 plus 3,200,000 plus 300,000 plus 600,000. So, this gives us a total assets. Okay, dito ko na lang lagay. Total assets is 8,558,230. Okay? Ito yung ating total assets. Then, let's get your total liabilities. Okay? 2,000,000 plus 100,000 plus 51,000 plus 632 plus 638,000. Okay? So, your total liabilities is, dito ko na lang din sulat, 2,789,630. Okay? Liabilities. Then, your capital is this one. So, lagi ko dito, 5,768,600. Okay? So, now, we will see if the accounting equation is correct. Okay? Again, your accounting equation is, assets is equals to, Liabilities plus capital. Asset, 8,558,232. Liabilities, 2,789,632 plus capital, 5,768,600. Let's check if this is correct. Okay? So, 2,789,632 plus 5,786,600. This gives you 8,558,230. And our accounting equation is correct. Okay? So we have correctly uh, done the analysis of all transactions. Okay? So this has been lesson 12 and our next lesson is journalizing. We'll be doing journal entries, the recording process of bookkeeping. The recording process of accounting. Okay, so I hope you understand all of the things that we did today. If and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you may put them in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a great day.